Hello there guys, Wayne here from Luna's World. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and we're back in the Sky Park. We're going to do a little short uh, flight here in Alaska. This is part of the Alaskan Bush Adventure. Um, if I click on this one here, so yeah, we're going to be taking some plastic materials. We just load them on board and I'll show you where we're going from. We're going from uh, Porn, <laughs> which is um, no attack, up to uh, Pavel, which is um, uh, Kivlana or Kivlina. Not quite sure how to pronounce it. Distance of 38 nautical miles over some beautiful uh, mountains here. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. And as you can see, it is uh, snowing. Let's just click on this and go direct and um, put this on the other screen. And um, yeah, if I go over to my other controller here, we are now, I've got my controls set up um, and we're in the uh, Trinidad, which should be a lot of fun. Look at that beautiful sunrise here. Absolutely stunning. Doesn't that look incredible? Anyway, let's jump in and get the show on the road. So battery masters on, avionics on. Uh, let's turn off fuel, go to right, go full rich, prop RPM forward, crack the throttle a little bit, fuel pump going on. Beacon on, strobe on, and clear prop. Okay, very good. Fuel pump coming off. And before he even starts, okay, maybe he won't bother giving us a pushback. So, yeah, let's release the brake and we'll uh, just make our way over to the runway. Oh, flaps are down already. Should have checked that. Okay, I'm not quite sure where the taxiway is here. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah, so this is quite a nice aircraft. Um, quite nice to fly. And very nicely textured on the inside and out and it, like I said actually flies pretty well oh we're almost in the water there my bad Uh, bring it to a stop here on the runway so a little bit snowy here put some flap down go full rpm uh, landing lights taxi lights off um, fuel pop on i think for takeoff and i think that's all we need to do so far so yeah, we're gonna take off and we're gonna do a right hand turn um, to track heading 205, which will take us over towards our uh, destination. So looking forward to it, here we go. Parking brake off and take off power set. That's 18 knots and rotate. Positive rate. Let's jump outside. Nope, where are we? There we are. Oh, 
Look at that. Beautiful. How nice is that view? Okay, flaps up. Oh, I can't. In drone view, flaps up. All right, getting carried away, I'm not flying properly. So we'll do our right hand turn. Just come back off the throttle a bit. Absolutely gorgeous. Down there. Looks like we've got a snow shower there, so let me go and just, I should have done this before actually. Pito heat. Oh, it's in up, is it? How weird. Okay, fuel pump off. Okay. Maybe I can use it now. No, okay. Very weird. Pito not working then. That doesn't bode well for what's ahead. I'm a bit taken aback by that. Absolutely stunning. All right, I can't resist. We have to pop outside again. Look at that. Trying my best at some cinematic shots here, guys. I need to uh, get my chops back with regards to uh, droning. But anyway, while we're here, let's look at some of the detail around the aircraft. I mean, it absolutely does look fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful texturing on the outside. You've really done it nicely. And uh, yeah, a decent amount of um, detail. The nose wheel there, neat. Look at that. Oof. Does it get any better? I'm not sure that it does. All right. Very nice. So, um, what are we doing? We're coming up to 5,000 feet. So I'm gonna um, trim out, reduce the mixture and set a cruise. So I'll start reducing power now. And just making sure trim wheel is nicely set, which I think it is. Okay, we just reduce the mixture a little bit. Okay, that's looking pretty nice. have an engine failure here this is pretty barren down there isn't it stunning landscape though it's probably a little bit cold actually why don't we go ahead and it's probably not working actually let's just have a look yeah cabin temperature in up But yeah, very nice to fly, very stable aircraft. Look at that cloud there. Woo. Absolutely beautiful. 
dumping all the uh, snow on the ground below. That looks amazing. Sorry, we have to go outside again. Just look at that. Holy cow. Never fails to impress this sim. My goodness. How about that for beautiful? Yeah, really not got the got the uh, knack of the. Um, oops, we're way off course now. That'll teach me for messing around. The way the atmosphere, uh, the atmospheric environment in this sim is really outstanding, isn't it? The light scattering, really, really nice. So far, a really smooth uh, flight. Sorry, a little yawn there. For quite a long day. What is that green light we got there? Landing light. Okay, thank you. Let's turn the landing lights off. Okay, everything else is good. Yeah, very smooth flight, not turbulent at all. Lovely little four-seater aircraft, this. Hope they update it. I hope they uh, make it a little bit more realistic in terms of um, operations, but yeah. Wow, look at that. Sometimes I just sit back and marvel at this sim. I really do. Beautiful. I know I've said that a million times, but it really is. Just have a quick slurp of my tea. Okay. Everything looking good. We're all in the green. fine. Long may that continue. All right, be quite nice to go out towards the coast a little bit. Since we've got to uh, kind of go that way anyway, we might as well go off course a little bit in order to uh, check it out. And we're going sort of between these showers here just to avoid any ice build up. I think minus 27 out there. Okay, I just want to check these lights are working. Yeah, cool. Okay. Now is the sea area going to be frozen? Will we see ice in the sea? I'm not sure. The 
This is super relaxing. I just can't stop looking at the landscape and the clouds. I mean, this right here just looks super realistic. It looks incredible. And a tiny bit grainy if I really focus on the edges of the clouds, but otherwise just, wow, the way the lighting and the shadows are working together here just looks amazing. Absolutely stunning. Right, I'll stop banging on about that now. At least for the time being. All right, I'm gonna just increase the throttle a little bit here. rainbow off in the distance. I'm tempted to climb up a bit higher. How far are we away? Seven minutes out. I think we'll keep it as it is, but we'll... Yeah, we'll head towards the coast. So I'll show you the Sky Park uh, app, just bring that into view. So here we go, this is us here heading towards the coast, um, 16 nautical miles out of uh, Pavel. And you can see here we're going to be landing on 30, Give us, giving us all of our information here. Pretty cool. Oh, it's a dirt runway. Brilliant. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. That's fine. No problem. Gulp. Look at that. Right. I guess we'll start to descend now just watching my speed come back off the throttle here and uh, let's just not make this a complete nose dive so it looks like we're landing pretty much like on the beach I'm just trying to get an idea of where exactly that is, I think it's beyond this, uh, beyond this line here. So it should be interesting. Maybe another look outside is in order. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Nice of them to organize the uh, nice of them to organize the uh, rainbow there. Very nice. All right, we better stay about there, about a thousand feet, full rich now.
since it's a dirt strip I think we're going to be wise to just fly over it look for any signs of ice and any hazards polar bears on the uh, runway that kind of thing oh and it's starting to snow let's put our landing lights on now It's quite interesting that the pitot doesn't work, and yet, yeah, definitely not. That's a shame. Turn coordinator as well. Just look, just, just the lights and the pump there. Anyway, we've got the prop D ice on, so that should be okay. Right, so the airfield is somewhere around here I believe Let's see if I can whoops zoom in oh it is actually on right yeah we are literally going to be landing on the uh, I guess peninsula oh no what would you call this I don't know like this needle I guess that should be fun Saying we're three minutes out. Let me just uh, turn the nose over a bit. Let's just see if I can see any sign of it. Oh, okay. There we go. Right on cue. Massive sign. <laughs> okay, I got it now. Kivalina. I'm not quite sure how to say it. Kiv, Kivalina. 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 Yeah. Anyway, if, I'm, if anyone knows how to pronounce it, please uh, let me know. four nautical miles two minutes out there is our runway just basically a bit of ice look at the way the uh, light is changing the color of the uh, sea there absolutely beautiful all right let's go gear down Gear down three green. Let's come off that throttle a bit. Let's put some flaps in. Runway is in sight. Looks like there's a town just south of the runway. That's really nice. It's going to be a pretty amazing approach. Okay, I'm going to whack the flaps out now because we're coming in a bit hot and high. Just bring the throttle back. Five hundred feet. Okay, landing lights are on. Doors, latches, and harnesses are secured. power in a little bit look at that wow stunning try not to get distracted by the beautiful surrounding scenery okay airspeed looking good well, perhaps a little bit high but I don't know 
your guess is as good as mine. I think we're doing okay. A little bit fast now. Oh, how fun is this? All right, I can't even see the ground. It's just a white sheet of ice. Okay, holding her up. Oh damn, this is not going well. There we go. Ouch. Okay, not the best landing. It's hard. It's really hard to see how high the um, how high we were. There was could hardly see any reference to uh, the ground. Just like a white sheet. I guess that's why we should. Always double check the elevation, which is all available to you. All that information, I've got no excuse really. Oh, it's bumpy. Let's clean up the flaps here. Yeah, this is perhaps not the ideal aircraft. But anyway, it's fine. She's still intact. Look at that. She's a beauty. I guess we'll go close to the town. Can't see any buildings. Maybe, maybe that's what we do. Maybe we just tanking along here. There we go. Maybe that's a hangar there. The landing gear is going to be in pretty bad shape after this. There we go. That looks like the uh, control tower right there. <laughs> All right, let's come to a stop here then, and uh, we'll power her down. Very fun. Turn all the lights off. Switch her off. And we'll call that complete. So uh, I guess we just go to deliver here. Yay! So that has given us, uh, oh, not much, but we have leveled up and we've got uh, 6.2 karma, whatever that means. So we're now a level three. So that's pretty cool. A little bit of cash in the bank, not much. Uh, oh no, we're level, sorry, we're level two when we've got that weight, that much left to go before level three. Anyway. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'll just show you on the map. That's where we started. And uh, yeah, really fun. I like this. I really like it. It's really um, starting to grow on me. Uh, not that I didn't like it before. It's just I didn't, I wasn't quite sure if I'd use it that often. But I do find myself coming back to it. And uh, like I said, flying in interesting places that I perhaps would never think of. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, most of my viewers have not. But um, yeah, I would really appreciate that. Regular content, um, you know, I like to think I'm not the kind of standard gaming or simulation sort of channel. I do a bunch of different things, uh, reviews, hardware reviews, um, just, yeah, sometimes even the odd vlog. Um, but yeah, mostly mostly flight simulation. But um, yeah, if you've got any ideas of what anything you want to see on the channel that you think you would enjoy, um, please let me know. And other than that, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Take care and adios.